and thank you for watching Inside UNC Charlotte. I'm Meg Whalen. I'm the Director of Communications for the College of Arts and Architecture. And today I am introducing Dr. Lynn Connor, who is the new chair of the Department of Theater. Welcome to UNC Charlotte. Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, you've come from Colby College in Maine. Tell us a little bit about the work that you've done there and in previous places and, and what you want to do here at UNC Charlotte. I worked at uh, a large research, one university, the University of Pittsburgh, in a large theater department and then in a very small theater and dance department at Colby College, a small liberal arts college. And so I've had the experience of those two different environments. It was important to me to explore a, a different place and I was particularly interested in what a state school would be like. I really am excited about working with a diverse student population and having the chance to talk about theater and the values and the joy of, the, of theatrical study in all, in all of its many uh, ways. Um, tell me a little bit about the, the kinds of um research that you do. I know you have written widely on a lot of topics. Uh, you have a, a blog that you write and you've, you're an historian as well as a theorist as well as a playwright. So you have many different activities going on simultaneously. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I'm, uh, my PhD is in theater history and performance studies and I've written a number of books about dance history and theater history, both of both disciplines I love very much. Um, and I'm also a uh, cultural policist. I think a lot about cultural policy and I work with foundations and community arts organizations um, around the country to think a little bit about how audiences respond to performance today in the 21st century. I use my historian skills to look at past audiences and then bring that information to the discussion and it's been a very exciting experience for me. We have a changing culture in which people are not going to the arts in the way that they used to. So one of the things that I do with arts organizations and, and other, um, other stakeholders in the, in the arts industry is to think about what past um, audiences wanted and what they received and what we might be missing in the equation and what we're offering today. What um, sort of is the vision for this department as you move into your career here? We, we use the term hybridity to talk about the kind of performance that uh, pushes actors to move and pushes dancers to speak and puts musicians in contexts that they might previously not have been in, and I think that's incredibly exciting. That's what students want to do because they don't see these arbitrary divisions between the disciplines. And uh, so it's exciting for all of us to think about hybridity and how the theat theater professionals can, can participate in that and contribute. Yeah. I know also that we've started to have within our theater program circus arts yes. and masks and renaissance style commedia and things that are new for our department. Um, I think it's interesting that the circus field is being embraced into the theater world mm -hmm. and I guess that's part of this expansion of the idea of theater. That's right. Yeah, I think the term that we use is contemporary circus or contemporary circus arts and we have a wonderful assistant professor Carlos Cruz, who is a the physical theater specialist, and his area is circus arts. Um, he has brought tremendous energy and ideas to, to the department and to the students, so they're being physicalized in, <laughs> in really wonderful and exciting new ways. And that kind of experience animates everything in the department, even things that we're doing that really you wouldn't define as being um, in the circus realm. It's still, it all blends together and the students' training uh, allows them to take bits and pieces from different areas and really build on their capacities. It's, it's pretty exciting. And we have two really great 
productions coming up in the fall. And in fact, the first one, uh, from the little I know about it, is going to play some with the idea of audience engagement by virtue of the way it's presented. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about those, those works mm -hmm. and what we might expect to, when we see them. Yeah, the first piece is called The Aliens. It's a play by a contemporary playwright named Annie Baker who's extremely popular, mm -hmm. um, uh, produced all the time. And she tends to write pieces set in contemporary rural environments. So this one is set in a small town in Vermont. It's really a beautiful story about the relationship between three young men in their 20s and early 30s and their individual journeys to, to manhood. They're musicians, or two of them are musicians, so there's a rock band as part of the concept for the play, and we're staging it outdoors in the quad um, uh, in between the uh, arts buildings. And the rock band will be <laughs> in full force, and audiences will have the chance to, to have a somewhat traditional experience. That if they want to buy a ticket, they can sit down and they'll be, you know, in a sort of um, audience configuration that you, you would be recognize, would be recognizable but we also embrace the idea that people will be passing by and that they'll they'll watch from different perspectives and take in different aspects of the play I think that's pretty exciting too and we're we're anxious to to have the campus experience our work in new ways and to welcome maybe new people into our work as well with with the outdoor setting yeah and then the second piece has a sort of a pop culture reference to it. Tell us a little bit about that play. It's called She Kills Monsters. It's very popular. It's being done quite a bit around the country. And it takes as its setting the world of Dungeons and Dragons. And um, it, it's also um, really well loved because the, the hero is a woman, and, and a young woman, and so it's the female side of geek culture is what, is what people say about the play. And it's also a beautiful story. It's got, it's a sort of dramatic underbelly to it. Um, but as, as this young woman comes to terms with a loss in her life, she does that through rediscovering her sister um, in the game of Dungeons and Dragons and it's very lively with all of the figures that animate that world and there's lots of um, sword fighting and other kinds of physical engagement and we've got a, um, a fight coach that we're bringing in to help the students learn and that's a whole different level of physical activity very right. interesting and very important to theater training and obviously a lot of fun to watch and I think the set and the lighting will be spectacular for this show. And that takes place in our black box theater. Right, in Robinson Hall. That's right. Well, of course, people can find out more about these productions and buy tickets mm -hmm. and all on our website, which is arts.uncc.edu. And they can find out more about the theater department on the theater web pages, theater.uncc.edu. Uh, the Aliens will run October 14th through the 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, not every one of those nights, but basically the weekends, right? And I think we have an unusual start time for the evenings. It's at 6, I believe. 6 p.m., yes. Um, and that's, I guess, because it's outdoors. Yes. So that it's not quite so dark when it's over. Right. Will we have lighting at there all? Will, there, there will, will be, be lighting. lighting. Okay. So actually it's kind of nice because you'll experience part of the play in the in the real light and then part of the play in theatrical light yeah, yeah as, that the is, sun, as the sun drops. That will be nice. Mm -hmm. And then She Kills Monsters is in uh, uh, November, I believe the 20th or 14th through 16th through 20th, November 16th through 20th. So right before Thanksgiving. That's right. Yeah. So we certainly hope that people will come and see these two productions. Yeah. We're delighted to have you here as part of the College of Arts and Architecture. Thank you so much for telling us today about yourself a little bit and about what we can see this fall. Thank you. And thank you for watching Inside UNC Charlotte.